is going on, everybody? Welcome to episode 6 of my Benfica journey. So, let's have a quick catch-up on what we have missed in the time that you guys have been gone. So, we ended, I think, here, the 4.30 in this cup, 5th round against Mariense. So, we got that one. We played them in the league after that. 3 nice. it's been 4 wins since then, so 2 in the league. The two comfortable wins in the league, really just some good form. So Mariense was a 3-0 victory right here, then a 4-0 against Setabal at home. And then this competition here, the kind of weird League Cup thing, I had no idea how it works. I figured it out now. Um, so we won both of these games. We came top of our group and we're in the semi-final now against Sporting. So there were four groups, as it turns out here, and the group winners go to the semi-finals. We actually had to win that last game against these guys just to get through, which I didn't realise until after the fact. But we came away with the victory. So we have that semi-final coming up down here. We're going to play at Braga here in the league. So this is actually the fixtures restarting. So we open the season against Braga, and I checked, and they do just follow the same pattern. So there's a little... Annoying, because that means I go Sporting PSG, then Porto PSG. But, we'll come to that later. Um, so yeah, at Braga, and then home to Vitoria Setebal, who beat 4-0 back here in the 6th round of the main cup, which is the quarter-finals. So we could have ourselves, by the end of this episode, in two cup semi-finals. And then, of course, the other news is this happened. De Vrij is here, he joined, he agreed. We have him at the club. He has played one game so far. We're going to hopefully put him to very, very good use as we go on. And then this young-ish goalkeeper from Olympiacos joined us. Uh, I'm not obviously expecting much from him. That was already a transfer that was set before the game started. But he is now part of the team. I'm s Julio Cesar has been agreed to be sold. It really doesn't get him off the wages the last six months of his contract. It's not that big a deal. Our finances aren't looking great. I actually saw this earlier. 10 million in the red. So I don't really know. Like, we're just. Th so that was tr transfers. That's a little blown out of proportion. But I don't really know how we're going to keep up. But we'll see. We'll figure that out as we go. So, anyway, we have a game to play. We are playing, as I said, at Braga. We're in a good run of form. We're still third in the league because Porto and Sporting are also playing very well. So, hopefully, we can. Keep up the pressure. They won both of their games. They've played already. I believe they played on the the uh, Friday. So we have a couple of interesting with Grimaldo is still out for a little bit. Which isn't great. So we're going to stick with Elisu. Uh, Douglas can stay in there. Luisao. I'm going to keep Luisao, actually. He is I'm annoyed. He's underbid from Zenit. He won't talk to me again about a new contract. I pulled out old negotiations with him. Because he wanted two years. didn't want to give him two years. And now I might lose him. So that's bad. We have a lot of players actually under bid. Salvi's been under bid. Servi's been under bid. Uh, uh, Sandra Lopez has been under bid. So we're just kind of holding down the fort right now, trying to keep these players. So we're going to succeed in this. We're probably going to need to keep our best players. And, you know, we don't want to just go ahead selling them. Especially, like, Byron if we come in for Salvi, we're going to try to pay like 8 million for him because his value is only here. He's much better than that. I'm not willing to just let him go for £8 million. So hopefully we can figure that out. But anyway, I think this is the team I'm going to go with. So it's Varela, De Vrij, Luis Al, Douglas Feja, Lisu, Salvio, Jonas, Cervi, Seferovic, and Benedetto. We still are missing Zivkovic and Pizzi, but only just. Zivkovic has seen six days and two weeks, and Pizzi, seven days. So we're getting them back in the near future. I'm quite excited to get those guys back in the team. I have one of those automatic air freshener things. You might have heard it when I was talking to the team there. Go off. It went, it's like blown over right in my mouth. And it's really disgusting. So I'm just trying to force that out of my system. All right, here we go. Let's keep the run going. Let's get victory here over Braga. Braga have really just not been doing well this season. They're rolled up the table a little bit. Look at their farm. They're still not playing very well. I say that as they bombard our goal in the first 25 seconds but we should really be getting a win here we beat them 3-1 to start the season that was when we weren't even close to hitting our stride 
So hopefully we can replicate that sort of result here. Oh, great. Uh, we just lost Elisa. We do not have a left back. Do I even have a full back on the bench? I don't even have a full back on the bench because of, well, being an idiot. Rafa Silva, our winger, is uh, going to slip in at left back. Hopefully we can um, do something with that. Hopefully it's not a complete disaster, but it probably will be. Rosen de Vrij with a header, let's put back in. Okay. I've been under a bit of pressure here, I don't like it. Rodrigo oh, at the bar. Oh yes, Rafa Silva. Justified in being brought on as a substitute already. So Salvio has picked up a knock, which is just great, because my backup right winger would have been Rafa Silva. Uh, Varela makes a save there. We're not really getting a hold of this game at all yet, aren't we? We need to switch things up just a little bit. Oh, so he's, oh, he's a wonderful defender. She's playing there all the time. Look at that. All right, I don't know what Salvio's injury is supposed to be. Potential lower leg. That's probably a bruise. We'll be all right. Leave him out there for a little bit more. Uh... All right, we're going attacking. That's my solution to everything on this game, is just when in doubt, attack and hope for the best. So hopefully it works, I say, as they pick up a throw-in. There we go. Chase it down, Benedetto, a lovely ball, actually. Serbia's pinged on up to Benedetto. He's still going. Oh, where is the finish, son? Oh, dear. All the good work for that. Let's see if we can... Get take two on the go, make it a little bit better. Oh, the sun is reflecting wildly off my head, so I'm going to lean back a little bit. Uh, and, oof. We're clinging on a little bit here. This is not ideal. Sherry Seferovic saves, nicely saved Mariara. A decent hit. And it's gone again, okay. Alright, I'm going to make a change now. I'm going to replace Salvio with Barbosa. I'm going to shift him to inside forward. He's not really come into his own yet at all, Gabriel Barbosa. So, I just need to kind of hope that he can make today his day. Or at least help someone else make it theirs. New Harta, and we're behind. It's been coming. They've had plenty of chances. So you can't say it's not been coming. We are 1-0 down. Let me, I'm going to replace Fajr with Samari. He's been booked and he's knackered. I'm not making a defensive midfield. Trent Sherby's been shockingly bad today, actually. But not a lot we can do. Right, so we... Get a clearance or something here, that'd be nice. Oh good, right, straight to Varela, here we go. Time for the late-ish heroics. Benedetto finds Chervy, and they give it away. Okay, well, just, we, we tried, you know. Uh, good, 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 good. All right, well, this game is a write-off. We are... Uh, this means the title race is going to be a massive struggle now. It really is. I don't know if we can keep up anymore after this, because we've played a game more than them now, and we're about five or six points behind Porto and Sporting at this point. So it's not looking so good. We're going to have to hope for some lapses from them. We have to probably going to beat both of them now, just to give ourselves a chance. And there's the final whistle. All right, so not the best of starts. Absolutely, I'm not pleased. You you just didn't play well there at all. I don't know what happened. You just didn't play to our ability. At least through three to four weeks. Oh, I hope one of our left backs makes it fit again soon. I don't know. 
Uh, how long did Grimaldo have, did I say? 49 days in the game in 3, so no. Uh, Almeida is broken in half, I don't know, 3 to 12. Pictorial strain. So we need one of them to be available, basically. So hopefully, by the time we come back for the quarterfinal, we will have one of them available, and we can pick up a win. Okay. Yeah, well, I don't have any money. I have, I think, what, £110,000? 113000 right now. I spent the budget, basically, on De Vrij. Uh, but you know, we have good players. We need to sell before we can buy, and I don't really want to sell unless we get some kind of outstanding offer. I know roughly where I would stand with all of the players in terms of selling them. Nobody is unavailable, but it's just... It's so difficult to get the right bid from the AI on this game. I don't know if you guys have figured that out, or if not figured it out, but found that out. Is that, you know, the AI want the world for their players, and they want to give you 20p and a Freddo for your star. Uh, right, let's see. Do we have anybody at all that can play football? Almeida, no, because he was on this list, wasn't he? Almeida and Grimaldo are both unavailable. So three injured left backs. Okay, Doug, do I have a right back, though? No. See, this went and switched Douglas, and then don't even have a right back to put in there. Okay, Rafa Silva is going to start at right back, because why not? Good news is a lot of these guys are coming back, so Pizzi, Zivkovic, Almeida and Grimaldo are both coming back. Yeah, I think they might have got injured in the same game, or taken a knock in the same game or something. It seems familiar. Uh, we're going to bring in Barbosa for this one. I'm going to attack. I want him to fire down that wing like it's nobody's business. Actually, no, I don't. That's a terrible idea. Support. Um, let's start Samaris. For, I'm going to keep De Vrij in there because he knows how to play centre back. I'm going to play Ruben Diaz instead of Lopez on the bench. He's been under a few bits from China from trying to kind of hide him a little bit just to make them go away, but I don't know if that's even how it works. So this is what we'll do. We'll go Varela, Diaz, De Vrij, Silva, left back, Samaris, Douglas, Shervy, Jonas, Barbosa, Benedetto, and Seferovic. So, cup quarter final. Let's hope for an improved performance. We're going to attack from the go. We're going to go right at them and hope that we can progress and get into a, another semi-final. Alright, so here we go. We're at home. We already beat this team pretty well about a month ago in the league, so we just had to do that again. Would be wonderful. Uh, that's not what I had in mind. Saved by Varela. See, this is the cup that actually matters. This is the one the board only get the final and so I can't really afford to fall short of expectation here. I could do with this, you know, getting to the final. I'm not gonna take losing at home to Vittoria as an excuse. So there's a bit of pressure on this one. Because we be our Champions League goal at least, but they want us to win the league as well and that's looking increasingly unlikely. So we need to really outperform in as many other competitions as we can to make up for the likely league loss, and then hopefully we get a second bite at it. Benedetto was a decent he was offside. Was he? No, that was a flag for goal kick. I know football. I know how to read flags and no rules and stuff. Barbosa pings when it's cleared. Jeremy Seferovic, what a strike, son. There we go. Goal to the good. Just what we needed. 1-0. It's a lovely hit. Benedetto the header. Trigera makes the save. Oh, we're battering them. Isn't this another one? We're coming right at them here. This is the kind of response I want from the Braga game. We didn't batter anything at all. Benedetto heads it wide again. You can usually tell pretty early on what kind of game it's going to be for Benedetto, whether he's going to have one of his good games where he scores, you know, two or three goals, or whether he's going to miss everything and be terrible. And I think we've already figured out what type of Benedetto game we are going to get today, so you might need to adjust that later on. But 
we're getting that, putting that to the side, we do have a 1-0 lead. So that's positive, oh good, just, just switch off, yeah, just don't care, it's fine, you don't need to care. It's a cup quarter final, you're winning, just, just don't listen, it's fine. There we go, Rafa Silva pings one up. I haven't seen any calamitous mistakes from my stand-in fullback yet, so that's nice. I thought if anything went wrong it would come from there, it's definitely on the other side. Douglas steps in well. Don't know what he's doing away over there. He's my right back. Whatever Benedetto puts it. Oh, okay. That was deflected. I thought he was trying to shoot there and I was going to be quite bemused, but it was a deflection, so I'll let him off. Oh, Diaz. Right at the keeper. Okay. Samaris is in book, so he's out for the semi final if we get there. He carried, into, carried a yellow card into this game. I can speak. I'm struggling today. My gosh. I just woke up, don't yell at me. Uh, Barbosa, Eduardo Salvio, back as a winger, please, Mr. Salvio. Uh, let's trade. Alright. See if we can hold on to our lead here. Hopefully we can, as I say, get this win. It'd be a big one for us, because the semi-final gets us closer to hitting our cup target. Like I say, I think it's going to be very important on this this season. This is kind of outperforming where possible. It's always important, but more so because of our other performance. Oh, nice intercept. Rafa Silva dominating down that left side. Barbosa, it's one of his blocks. Well, Salvio, oh my gosh, how do you miss the target from there? Eduardo should have sold you to Bayern. That's a lie, I shouldn't. Not yet. Not the sun is giving you all kinds of problems now, but I can't be bothered getting up to fix it, so you're just going to have to deal with a little bit of sun on my face. Probably hides the ghastly disgustingness, so you're probably very pleased as you reach the final moments of the game. Servi bangs a free kick at the wall. You could have done with putting that one over the bar, son. Waste some time. That's what I tell him to do. Either bang it over the bar or drip it in the corner. So if you smash it over the bar, the clock's going to start to run. Special football manager when it seems only one ball exists. And it's full time there. We do have a win. We do get through. We've squeezed through. It wasn't our best performance, but a win is a win. We are in to the semi finals alongside Estoril, Porto, and Desportivo. So we'll see who we end up with there in a little bit. And then we'll inform you of that when next things we're going to stop it there so thank you for hanging out once again thank you for watching please give a like give a comment subscribe if you want to see future videos and have a wonderful rest of whatever day this is you have decided to watch this video